Welcome back to PubMaster Channel. In this video, we will share four important tips to consider before planning your photovoltaic array, ensuring a smoother installation and usage experience. Tip 1. PV System Size Before designing a photovoltaic system, size planning is a crucial step. It directly impacts the system economy, efficiency, feasibility, and sustainability. Before planning the system size, a thorough analysis of user's electricity needs should be performed, including daily electricity consumption, peak load, and cell rate. Additionally, factors such as diurnal variations, seasonal changes, and the local climate conditions must be considered to ensure that system design matches the actual needs and that electricity generation and consumption are balanced. A system that too small may fail to meet electricity demands, while one that is too large may lead to unnecessary investment. Properly sizing the system will maximize the return on investment, ensuring that the PV system meets the user's needs most of the time, reduces dependence on the grid, and may even allow for off-grid operation. Size planning should also take into account available space for installation, ensuring the solar energy is maximally utilized without wasting space. Furthermore, the size of the system can be planned with future expansion in mind. Consider possible future changes in electricity demand, such as the addition of electrical equipment leading to increased consumption, or the use of scope of achieving energy self-sufficiency. Reserve space for future expansions, such as adding more PV modules, energy storage devices, or inverters. Tip 2. Assessing Solar Irradiance The efficiency and electricity generation of PV systems are closely related to geographic location. High-latitude areas typically have shorter daylight hours, while low-latitude areas enjoy longer sunlight exposure. High-altitude regions with thinner atmosphere layers receive higher radiation levels. Additionally, Color environments have photovoltaic components maintain higher efficiency. If your location does not have a nature advantage, such as being in a high latitude region, you can optimize generation efficiency by adjusting the tilt angle of the PV modules, increasing the number of modules or using solar tracking systems. The installation location of the PV array should avoid shedding from buildings, trees, mountains or other objects. Even small amounts of shedding can significantly reduce electricity generation. The individual cells facing the PV module are typically connected in series, and the current of the entire module is determined by the weakest cell. Much like the wooden barrel effect, when shedding blocks part of the module, those cells will generate less current reducing the overall current output of the module, and in turn, affecting the other modules connected in series. If the shaded cells are unable to generate power, they may absorb current in reverse, creating a reverse current, leading to localized overheating and the formation of the hot spots, which can damage the module and affect the long-term performance of the system. Tip 3. Selecting the right PV modules Choose PV modules based on the system size, budget, installation space, and long-term expansion plans. High-power modules typically have higher conversion efficiency, which is ideal for space like rooftops where space is limited. High-power modules can make better use of space and reduce installation area requirements. Low-power modules are more affordable and offer greater configuration flexibility. Generally, high-power modules are suitable for scenarios with limited space, higher budgets, and a focus on long-term investment returns. Low-power modules are more suitable for users with budget constraints, abundant space, or small-scale power generation needs. 
The conversion efficiency of PV modules refers to their ability to convert solar energy into electrical power. The higher the efficiency, the greater the electricity generation for the same area. PV module efficiency is also affected by temperature. A lower temperature coefficient means less efficiency loss as the temperature rises. In hot climates, it is recommended to choose PV module with a low temperature coefficient to improve system generation efficiency. Depending on the installation environment, you can choose between flexible panels and glass panels. Flexible panels are lighter. Ideal for irregular or curved surface and easy to install without need for mounting structures. Glass panels, on the other hand, are more suitable for rooftop installations. With a robust structure able to withstand higher wind pressures and other external forces, they are typically installed on the flat, stable surface and require direct or concrete mounting with metal brackets. Tip four: Properly arranging a PV array. In PV array design, multiple PV modules are usually arranged in series and power combinations to meet the required voltage and current specifications. Series connections increase system voltage, while power connections increase system current. For the configuration of series and power connections. It is essential to understand the basic parameters of each PV module, such as open circuit voltage and short circuit current. The maximum input voltage and maximum input current of the controller or inverter should also be referenced to ensure that the total open circuit voltage and short circuit current of the PV array do not exceed this limit. Assuming you have the following specifications for PV modules and inverter, first, calculate the numbers of modules to connect in series by dividing the inverter's maximum input voltage by the PV module's open circuit voltage. Then, calculate the number of modules to connect in parallel by dividing the inverter's maximum input current by the PV module's short circuit current. Next. Calculate the total power by multiplying the operating voltage by the operating current to determine the maximum output power of each module. After that, calculate the total power of series and parallel combination. If the total power exceeds the inverter's maximum power input, reduce the number of series or parallel connections to ensure that the PV array stays within the power limit. For example. If we maintain 16 modules in series and adjust the power connections, the number of power strings can be determined by the dividing inverter's maximum power by the power of each string. This would result in 16 modules in series and three power strings. This concludes our tips for designing a photovoltaic array. We hope these tips are helpful to you. Feel free to share more PV array design-related content in the comment section. And thank you for watching. See you in the next video.